Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rez and we're going to talk about XML or in this case we're going to talk about the layout system that Android uses in an XML style. So what is an XML? It's really nothing so special that everyone just goes bananas on it and just don't understand what the hell is going on. It's really they use specific keywords and said hey that matters to us and that's XML in a short sentence which is really bad explanation now that I'm thinking about now uh, <laughs> XML is basically saying we're gonna structure everything that you see as a parent to child relationship right so basically whatever's inside would be uh, the children of whatever containing all of those which would be the parent okay and we saw this in the last video about it something like the component tree which basically reflects what we're seeing now, before I even get into all the little details, I just want to point out something. If you go on websites and so forth, so on, they're all basically using this XML style, right? The HTML is just an XML saying, well, the word HTML is what matters to me. So, give you a better explanation with saying, I put these HTML um, or head or title or base and etc and I close them off eventually to say that these two are part of you know head and eventually when my browser in this case is Chrome goes and reads this code will determine what is placed where so these keywords HTML and head are only significant to websites and and browsers such as Chrome Firefox and etc which determine by looking at those tags what it's expecting or what should it write right so if i see h1 it says hey change the font size to gig ginormous and so forth so on so now going back into android a bit hopefully that explanation wasn't too vague <sighs> every little tag you open up you have to eventually close it right there's two ways of closing them one is if you see if I open image button with that little less than to bigger than I need to close it off with a forward slash bigger than to less than okay this closes my image button and seeing this I know that there is no children that belongs to my image button right now if you wanted to have children you'll need to explicitly close them in a way that's kind of telling you what it was right in this case it was linear layout still with the forward slash however this time we also have a opening uh, bigger than to sorry smaller than to bigger than forward slash linear layout bigger than to smaller than. this is closing my linear layout notice that this linear layout is basically just this all right that's being saying hey open my linear layout and with the forward slash, it was saying, hey, close my linear layout, right? And if I don't want to have any children, I would just have this bunch, okay? That's basically saying, as soon as you create my image button, close it. Nothing needs to be in there. And if I want to change that, I just delete that, and I eventually put in forward slash image button, and you kind of see the IntelliSense of Android Studio kind of managing that for you, all right? Let's just undo this a bit. Now going back into these little properties that we see here. So before even adding children to my linear layout or whatever element that we're talking about, for that specific element, there is such things as properties, all right? Or it might be a different name somewhere else. These are specific to that widget or component that we're talking about currently. While the stuff inside of it, they also have their own little components okay or not components sorry it would be more properties however it doesn't mean it has to be structured this way it's just that the fact that Android structured it so if you eventually go somewhere else and you see some XML they might say well you know this image buttons and everything we would replace it to actually being the values of of this like giving you example let's say orientation rather than putting it as a property here they could have also structured it as, you know what, we have a children called orientation. Okay. And inside the orientation, the value is vertical. Simple as that. And you see kind of there's no errors 
per se, but it doesn't understand this because it's not one of the structures that they planned for Android. But this is still legit and normal XML, okay? So eventually we'll come back to uh, the XML part because mastering this part will make your life easier in designing your application. Also, designing normally is fine too. You'll notice that some places uh, you always have a designer who has this whole, whole thing mastered while you be the background programmer. But as newbies and as starters, I would say you need to master both. Because this is going to give you a lot more power in controlling your whole Android application and maybe a bit more say when the designer says I wanted this or the client says that. Okay, so knowing what exists and what you could do makes your life better. So uh, for now, I would say that's it for the XML. We'll come back to it. Um, yeah, so this was Rez. See you again. Please subscribe. I have questions, leave it in the comments. Cheers.